guys uh, i'm doing a little video on uh what i got in my uh teton 5500 grand backpack oh wait teton grand 5500 backpack yeah uh so yeah i'm gonna get into it right now okay uh pretty much i just emptied out the whole bag except for uh all my uh clothes well most of them with the clothing like all you need is uh well, I guess if you want, just bring a couple layers of cotton and then put the polyester, um, have that as your first layer because you're going to sweat, uh, like hiking or carrying the large backpack. All right, um, right here, uh, I got a poncho. Basically, it came with the book bag. The bag cost me like 175 I think, or wait, 150 I don't know, check on Amazon, Teton, uh, Grand 5500. Uh, this came with the bag, uh, it's been used a bit, but it could cover your whole body and the backpack at the same time so your stuff doesn't get wet. Down here, um, pretty much got uh, my cooking set. Uh, this is a foldable stove, I got it from Walmart, and then I lost a top for this, but it still works. Um, it's a, uh, you know, you could just put, it, it's like a pot for like soups and stuff, and then you can put it in these two cups. Right here, um, these are like my tools pretty much for like gaming and whatnot. Um, yeah, pretty much in my old video that I have the Carnivore X, wait, Camillus, Camtillus, Camillus, yeah, something like that, titanium. Uh, yeah, I just bought it like a week ago or two. Works really good. You can saw through things right here. This is the saw part. Um, this is the gutting or the wire cutter part. This is the chisel. This is for digging right here. I guess in the ground or something or in wood. Then right here, just your regular machete. Uh, that's the case that goes with it. It's pretty good. Uh, I got a little knife that came with it. Uh, probably use it for fishing, but I'm using this one for fishing. This is just a regular, you know, Chinese made knife, but I'm using this one for fishing too, uh, or to cut like very carefully into things. I mean, these things are really sharp, like for real. And I got a knife sharpener just in case for that. Um, yeah, and then it's got, I guess it's got a 10 millimeter and seven millimeter nut. Like you, you put it on the nuts and then you just like twist it or whatever. Uh, I guess if you need that as a tool. Um, this one I'm going to use for first, just for fishing and whatnot. Um, and well, I'm probably, I'll probably gut fishes with it. Uh, then this is a fire starter. You got that. This is the case that comes with it. Always need the rope to put up like a, I get, I'm probably going to use it just to dry clothes out, like tie it on trees and whatnot. Or to hold down uh, my, uh, dang, what is that one called? Uh, burlap? Yeah, my camouflage burlap. I'll get into that soon. Well, I got that. It can anchor down stuff. Uh, fishing pole for food. All you need is a fishing pole. Pretty cheap at Walmart, probably like $10, $15. All you need is that and bait. I got the bait in there, but I'm not going to show that right now. Um, right here's my first emer my emergency safety kit. Uh, got the whistle flashlight, nail clippers, compass, uh, tweezers, scissors, soap, band-aids. A lot of bandages, actually. There's, there's a lot of stuff in there. And right here... A to-go toothpaste and lotion kit. Uh, got my uh, beard trimmer. I'll probably, yeah. If you shave, just bring a shave or two. Um, fork and knife. Like, they come out like this. It's an Ozark trail I got from Walmart. You just open these two and then they come apart. It's got knives and corkscrews. Toilet paper. Definitely need that. Sorry, video just cut off. But uh, this tent, it's pretty good. It sleeps two people, but it's just going to be me. 
if I go out anywhere. Um, yeah, pretty good tent. Uh, shoot, I bought a Kmart. I think they shut down though. I think it was like under, it had it been $20? I don't know, something like that. Just look it up for cheap tents. Um, sleeping bag, uh, it's not waterproof, but it, it'll stop water from getting in. Um, yeah, I get that for colder weather. Here's my burlap. Uh, it's a big camouflage burlap, like just to hide your tent, your Basically, if you're homeless, like a house. Um, yeah. Wait, let me put it this way. All right. Um, yeah, hide, hide uh, pretty much the where, where you're camping, if you know what I mean. I got the tarp. Um, I'm going to put that under the tent so it could keep heat in. Because... I mean, I'm in the south right now, but I'm thinking about moving to the north. Uh, yeah, just get a tarp, put it under your tent, like, and uh, try to anchor it down, keep the heat in, and then put, well, have leaves under it too. Okay, and then I got my hiking boots. Uh, these were cheap, Kmart. Got it for, I'd have to say like $17 maybe. So, I mean, these are going to last a long time because look at that tread, you know. But bring regular shoes too. Like, I got a pair of Nikes, so. Um, North Face hat. Dude, this thing, it's got like extra insulation, everything in it. I don't know. I like to be fancy sometimes with it. With buying things. I don't know, I guess. Um, this, like, I made it out of a bed sheet, but, um, could be used as a, um, a shemag. I I lost my shemag. Some some chick like took it from me by accident. But uh yeah, in case if it's dusty or whatever outside. Uh always have that cloth with you to cover your face and whatnot. Of course wear a hat for sun or like get probably a sun hat that you can um that's made out of straw or something if you live in the south. Uh, and those are my two jackets, coats. I got I got another sweater in there, but it'll it'll be good enough. I mean, you just gotta wear layers. And if you're sweating a lot in the cold, wear don't wear cotton on the bottom layer, like I said. But this is stretchable fabric. It's good. It's Calvin Klein. I guess it'll look good sometimes, but if you go in the city, um, that's a rain jacket. This, I love this thing. Get me dry. When I was biking in the rain and whatnot. Uh, okay, CV radio. Let's see here. Yep. Mode. Yeah, pretty much uh, if you're out in the wilderness or don't have any Wi-Fi reception or phone reception, this thing would come in handy. You just scan channels and then uh, call for help if you need it with the push to talk button. Uh, you can switch the radio too. Yeah. And then you press this for a flashlight, even though I have one already. Basically, it's my SOS device. Um, and the other thing I got, which is in my hands right now. It's a uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab E. It only cost me $175 at Target. That's what I'm shooting the video with. I mean, it's pretty good quality and it could go on the internet. And you go get free internet anywhere. Like, uh, every, every business has internet now, pretty much. Uh, oh yeah, the gloves. Yeah, they're wool on the outside, but polyester on the inside, I believe. But they grip, too very warm then a journal if you want to write down your goals for that day and whatnot uh get going on that just to keep you occupied oh yeah i forgot about this the waterproof bag uh pretty much what i'm going to use it for is to keep my electronics and whatever i'm carrying dry or if i'm riding somewhere real quick and then uh 
but main reason is to wash my clothes. You could just put dirty clothes in it, water and laundry detergent in it, and then shake it up real quick and drain it out and rinse it, then hang it to dry. Oh yeah, all right, that's all my, most of my stuff right there. Uh, um, get some sunglasses too to protect your eyes from the sun. Uh, get Ziploc bags to protect your devices and whatnot, and and try to stock up on canned food, I guess. Well, once you find a camp place and non-perishable food. Uh, for water, I mean, you could just get a water bottle anywhere. Water's free everywhere. Um, but if you're in the wilderness, get that life straw. It'll uh, filter out all the uh, toxic waste from the environment. Then that way you get purified water. Um, yeah, I mean, it's food, water, shelter pretty much, but this is kind of a lot of stuff for a bug out bag and whatnot. Oh yeah, there's my Nikes. Yeah, pretty much that's uh, it. All right, guys, later. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, I forgot about like my guitar. Uh, you can make money off guitar instrument, like a talent, like on the street. Uh, also take like 30 days worth of medication with you. What else? Uh, dang. That's pretty much it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that, that should be all of it. Yeah. All right, later. Here's what I forgot about. Yeah, um, tobacco on my previous video. I mean, it's pretty cheap. Ten bucks for that. Two hundred cigarettes for three bucks, and then a machine for fifty. But you only have to buy it like once every five years till it screws up. All right.